Hey folks, welcome to John Gillespie's Waters and Woods. It's eight below zero and we're in Ely, Minnesota going ice fishing. Fleet Farm presents John Gillespie's Waters and Woods. Fleet Farm, the ultimate fishing headquarters. Big, beautiful fish. Oh, is that awesome. It's a huge fish! It's a huge fish! This is amazing. Who do you got? Oh awesome. my god. Welcome to Ely, Minnesota, the winter wonderland of the Midwest. I'll tell you what, folks, today is December the 8th, and we picked the coldest day of the year to come up here and do some ice fishing. It was 8 below zero this morning, huh? 8 below, not counting the wind, and about a foot of snow on the ground. Now, Josh, uh, we were talking, there's not a lot of ice fishing available in Wisconsin at this point, so that's kind of why we decided Ely, Minnesota? Yeah, this is always a fun place to come. It freezes first. There's not a lot of pressure and we're usually the first ones out. So. Well we are the first ones out. Let's talk a little bit about getting in here now today. We go down a logging road that wasn't plowed. No, no. Well, the road, John, about five miles, the road just to get here in our pickup trucks is not plowed. There are a lot of small lakes up here to pick from, and we like to go down the trails to get onto the lakes with our ATVs. That's absolutely a blast. But I want to mention one thing. Everybody had trouble getting their machines started this morning. It was tough to get them going. I mean, it's so cold, and, you know, we haven't used them all year. So, yeah, it takes a little bit to get them going in the morning. And what's our saying? Conquer. It's an adventure. Adventure, conquer, get it done. Hey folks, all my fishing buddies really love the new lightweight Jiffy Torch. Yeah, John, what I love about the Torch is I can connect it to a drill for super lightweight, or I can connect it to an electric power head if I'm gonna go pound a ton of holes in one day. This is a hex steel construction shaft, super durable, super lightweight, and it's gonna last year over year. When they added the ripper cutting blades to the torch, that really finished it off. They're super reliable, been around for a long time, and they always stay sharp. For more information on these revolutionary new products, go to jiffyonice.com. Introducing the Rise Float Suit with Motion Float Technology. Breathable, waterproof, secure, and all the features that make the difference. Waterproof cell phone pocket, rapid drain system, and maximum flexibility. Fish with security in the Rise Float Suit from Ice Armor by Clam. Rise above. Clam Outdoors. Pursue the ice. Len Groom from Amsoil here, and we're talking about trailer bearings. One of the most neglected pieces on that trailer are the bearings. People just don't think about them, especially with a boat trailer where it's going in and out of the water, even an ATV, UTV trailer, or a snowmobile trailer that's going down the highway in the water in adverse conditions. You always want to make sure you check those bearings and apply some grease when you can. You definitely want to check them seasonally. Amsoil's water-resistant grease is a perfect choice for your trailers. For more information on any of our greases, check out amsoil.com. Receive a $100 gift card when you purchase any new Yamaha Youth ATV, now through December 18th. Whether it's the YFC 50, Raptor 90, or Grizzly 90, they are the perfect machines for those younger riders looking to explore the outdoors. Go to GillespieFishing.com to claim your $100 rebate today. Hey, welcome back, folks. As we talked about at the top of the program, we're up in Ely, Minnesota, and I would call this a backwoods lake. It's in the bush, and oh, it, it, you know? Absolutely, we're a mile back on a logging road, probably a good 20 miles out of town, so it's it's so awesome. Okay, and what, you know, we have fished here before, and it's got largemouth bass, northern pike, bluegills, and crappies, so you set beaver dam tip-ups for the pike. Yep, pike, we have them out there, fluorocarbon leaders, live suckers, and, uh, and then we're gonna jig for the panfish. Okay, I love some of the new lures that we're using this year. First of all, this is a tungsten jig, right? Right, it's a tungsten jig. It's our new slider jig, a re really premium hook, and the, the hook slides out a quarter inch okay. to give it unique action and to take the, the pivot point away from the fish when you hook them in the mouth. Hey, my buddy Lenny Groom from Mamsoil is going to be the fro. Oh. Now hold that one up there, Lenny Groom. That is oh. a beautiful bluegill there, buddy. Yeah, no, hold them up. There you go. Oh, I, see your, I see your dress for this eight below weather. It's a little chilly out, yeah, absolutely. Ooh, go, Lenny just got a big bluegill and Josh has... Just dropped down. Oh, nice there crappie there, buddy. Yeah. Decent eater size. Hey, Josh, you know, you and I talked last night. Yeah. Oh, here up in Ely, 
It was 30 degrees the other day, eight below today. You were worried about the fishing today. I was. I, I still do think it is going to be tougher today, just post front conditions and call cold it is. But so far, I mean, we're getting a few to start, so that's good. Here we go, John. Coming, Josh. I haven't had a chance to drop a line in yet. They're biting. A little bigger crappie, you think? Yeah, this one too. Oh, Ooh, yeah, nice there you one. go. Now lip him and hold him out. Now that's that's a decent crappie right there. It is, and he just inhaled that slider. And you know what's so cool about these lakes is, unless you drag a canoe back here in the summer a mile, you don't fish these lakes. Oh, exactly. They don't get touched. and I mean, we're seeing right now, even with the cold front, so far they're biting pretty yeah. good. Yeah, we haven't had a tip up yet, though. No, that's true. Hey, here we go, Matt. Matty B, Matty B, crappie or bluegill? Oh, oh come on up here, Matt. Now nice that kill. is about, what, seven and a half? Oh, that's an eight. That's, oh, close. Show the folks. That, that, that's close to an eight, John. That's that, a nice fish. Yeah, and I'll tell you what, folks, on this Tungsten deal, I want to tell you what I love about them is they're heavy, and you got a tight line, and you can feel the bite a lot better, you know? Yeah, big deal. I mean, we designed these spoons, John, these Tungsten Castmasters, to fish five feet of water all the way out to 30-plus yeah. feet of water, basin crappies, deep perch, walleyes, anywhere you go. And on these small ones, we put these single hooks, and the single hooks are really nice in your pan. Fish. Well, I'll tell you what, folks, when you got a tight line, you can feel a little bite a lot Makes better, Makes a huge too. difference. Yeah. You're going to ice a lot more fish. That's not bad, Bluegill. Yeah, it's a nice fish. Hey, there we go. Mark's got one on. Yeah. Ooh, there you go. Now hold that out real nice. That's a beautiful bluegill. Hey, Mark, I'll tell you what. You and I have been coming up here together how many years now? 17 years, John. 17 years. But it's a, we, it's a trip we look forward to every year. I just think it's like wilderness. Right, right. It's always a new adventure every year, it seems, you know, about the ice or the snow or... Getting machines started, yeah. yeah. That's a nice bluegill, and that's why we come, though, folks. These are, you know, you got a shot at a 10-incher here, oh, too. Yeah. Coming, Matt, coming. There he goes. All right, buddy. I'll tell you what, for the first hour, we didn't get a flag. What do you got? Third run, John. It's a nice fish. Is nice really? bike. Oh, yeah. Okay, yep. good. Good, it's good, nice good, fish. buddy. There he comes. Third run, third run. Ooh, that's a nice pike. Nice fish. There we go, Matty B. Yeah. That is a beautiful pike, buddy. Yeah, it is, John. And you know, that's one thing we should talk about, folks. You get these real cold, sunny days, pike are usually reliable. Yeah, no, no doubt about it. I mean, boy, did he eat that thing. Yeah, and, and uh, we're going to show how we're rigging these tip-ups here in a second. Yep, yep. But no, folks, on sunny, cold days, yep. pike are usually moving. They're moving, absolutely. I'm going to put them down just so that fish doesn't freeze and then uh, get yeah. my pliers and I'll then get release pliers. it. Josh, you got one out there? John, John. Oh, big large. Matt just got, oh, oh my oh, gosh, yeah, look mouth. at that. A beautiful large mouth. That's a roo there, buddy. That's a dandy, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, look at the mouth. On, look at the mouth on that thing. That thing's huge. <laughs> That's on the new rattle and leader, John. Okay, so when uh, what does that do? It makes a rattle noise? Yeah, it's got a rattle. So as that minnow swims, it makes a lot of noise down there, and it glows. So in dark stained water like this, it sticks out. Hold that bass out. I mean, that's a beautiful, look, look, look at the mouth. Yeah. Isn't that, the mouth is gigantic. It can almost fit my fist. That is cool. And it's interesting, folks. We, we Like I said before, we've been fishing for about, oh, almost two hours. Yep. And man, I'll tell you, we didn't get a flag, and all of a sudden, boom, boom, boom. Yep, panfish are slowing down, and the game fish are starting to bite. Okay, Matty B, Matty B, come on over, buddy. Mark's got another one on. Oh, Ooh, there you go. Hey, Matt. Yeah, here, let's let's show the folks. I mean, that right there is a beautiful bluegill. And Matt, what you do when you come out here is you drill a bunch of holes with that jiffy. And do you hole hop a lot? Yeah, John, that's the biggest thing. If you want to catch a lot of fish and find the active fish, get out here, drill at least 20 holes, if not 30, in a section where you have caught them or you right. think you're going to catch them, and then just bounce and bounce and bounce and give that a couple hours before you actually move. Here we go, John. Oh, he's stuck in the trees. It's transmission. not going to be as big as that bass you caught. No, that was a nice bass. Uh, oh, that's not a bad crappie right there, yeah, Joshua. Get him out of the hummingbird tree. Yeah, juice. nice job yeah, there, there, buddy. We go. Hey, want to mention too, you know, over in your area, Iron River and Ashland, no ice yep. yet. No ice yet. I mean, the small lakes have a little bit, but it's not safe. And that's one of the reasons that we do come up here to Ely. These are small lakes. They freeze over fast. Yep. And we've got, what, six, eight inches here? Yeah, we do. There's actually quite a bit. Lift that one. I mean, that's, that's what is that, about a nine and a half, nine ten, and a half ten. Another one on the slider. <laughs> good fish, John. All right, buddy. I made, it, right, it, made two good it. runs. Oh, look at this guy. Look at this guy. What do we got? Oh, oh my gosh. Yeah. Holy Look at cow. that one. 
Mark, that is a beauty, buddy. Look at that fish. Look That's at that. Nice one. That's what we come up here for. Yes, it is. And you know, years ago, we used to keep one or two. We don't keep them anymore, do we? No, no, John. <coughs> let them go, let them grow. When you get eight below zero like this, the release and keeping their eyes out in the water. Yeah, you can kill them really quick if you're not 15, 10 seconds and get them back down. These old beaver dam tip-ups are, are just awesome. They're so reliable, aren't they? Oh, they are. I mean, it's, what, five, six below right now, and this tip-up's been out of the water for at least five minutes, and it still spins nice and easy. Okay, let's look at what you're using there. Actually, you just got a sucker minnow on there. Yep, you hook them once in the back. Right behind the door. And thing. then you got this seagar. Is that big game? Uh, seagar, yes. Yep. Eight below, and we're catching fish. I like it. Okay. There we go, right, Josh and Rudy here. Got him. He was running pretty good with uh, it. Okay, buddy. I'll tell you what, the tip ups were slow and nice pike. Um, oh, no, Ooh, another bass. There we go. Another beautiful largemouth yeah. bass. And that's something I should mention, too. You know, the early ice, and, and even where you live over there in the Iron River, yep. you get bass good early ice. It actually can be really good, and there's not a lot of people who do it. I, I really enjoy tip up fishing for bass early ice. Yeah, no, that's not a bad fish right there. Oh. And, and again, you know, it's interesting, folks. The tip ups, as you see, have been flying in the last 45 minutes, and the pan fishing has slowed down yeah it's went absolutely dead so that's when those predators are moving around yep, those panties yeah stay close to the bottom now we're having a good day folks and i, I was kind of worried about today oh i did not think it'd be this good with the cold front and the you know post post conditions but so well, far so good we've been fishing in about two and a half hours buddy hey guys when it's eight below and you're on the ice what do you want a hot Johnsonville job. Uh, no, you can't eat that yet until I tell you Why? what it is. Come on. Oh, no, I don't know. No, just wait okay. for one second. Actually, today I've got Johnsonville Fresh Mild Italians, and these are so good. And what I did last night, though, I kind of parboiled in beer because I wanted to cook them quick on the grill today. Then all you got to do is put them on there low and slow till they're golden brown. All right, guys, Italians, Johnsonville Italians. Well, absolutely delicious. A hot something hot on the ice is wonderful, and Johnsonville is absolutely the best. Get you through the day. You betcha. Hey, folks, look for Johnsonville Italians at your favorite retailer today. The sky. We were fishing the lakes of Ely, Minnesota, an eight hour drive from Milwaukee, nine hours from Chicago, and three and a half hours from Minneapolis. Eagle Claw is the only hook made right here in the USA. They also make this awesome Eagle Claw Jet Sled. The Eagle Claw Jet Sled is heavy duty and is built for strength and stability. The Jet Sled is great for ice fishermen, hunters, hauling firewood, and more. For more information and more great products, go to eagleclaw.com. If you want to know how the best anglers always seem to find fish, stay on fish, and be in the right place at the right time, don't ask them. Just look at the name on the side of their boat. The one that's built 10 million motors, shallow water anchors, and more. No angler's gonna tell you their secrets, but they don't have to, because you already know. Minn Kota, fish for more. Well, we had to go down a very dirty, dirty road today, and our boat got a bunch of sand, salt, and mud all over it, and that can cause permanent damage to our boat. But you have a solution. We do have the solution. It's called the AquaJet Johnson Pump Washdown System, and it is the strongest PSI washdown in the industry. Without having to haul any power washers down, any hoses, hook up, you're using the lake water, filtering the lake water, leaving your boat completely sparkling clean. Wow, I can't wait to get Johnson pumped. Oh, oh. nice bass, <laughs> sound bullet. Let's pull that yeah. up, there you go. Oh my gosh! A living some bullet. This has got a little more weight. Oh, oh look at that! There you go. Hey, hey, hey! Yeah. See? Oh, All right, nice. Blake, look at that! Let's see, is it going, buddy? It was. Okay. Yeah, it's moving a little bit. 
All righty. It, it, it was flying pretty good. You kind of interrupted my Johnsonville I there. I know. I'm sorry. You got to eat a little faster, right? <laughs> yeah, really. Anything there? Oh, All yeah. right. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I got to learn to keep my head out of the way. I'm going to get an elbow in the <laughs> face. No chin Ooh, shots. look at that oh, guy. Oh. oh, it's a respectable one. That is, yeah, there we go. That's a nice fish, man. Yep. Well, I'll tell you what, these, look at the build on this guy. That's yeah, what I, that's... you know, and Pete always says when you get a small pike built like that, make sure you let them go because those fish have good genes. Yeah, no doubt about it. Yeah. How was your Johnsonville? Oh, it's delicious. Two two warm ones hit the belly and then and then get a, a flag right Nicely away. done. Now, we're going to move in the, we, we've only been here three hours, but you're going to try another spot on the lake? Yeah. What I like to do a lot of times on these lakes is when you have a couple spots where you know you always catch them is fish a half day in one area and then reset and a lot of times you get a fresh batch of fish fresh batch of flags you know lenny i kind of think i'm a veteran fishing in ely this is the 17th year that we've been up here to open the ice fishing season but you folks know lenny from amzo you're actually born and raised in ely right that's correct yep and tell the folks you know we come up here and fish northern pike and panfish but there's a wide array of fishing possibilities right there is you don't even have to go that far from town in fact there's a trout lake right in town there's walleyes and pike right right outside of town it's a, it's an easy drive in the car you don't even need an ATV or a snowmobile. It's fairly simple, but there's a lot of fishing right close to town. Okay, so you got walleye, trout, uh, panfish, northern pike, bass, and of course there's the boundary waters up here too for people that want to go in without machines, right? Right, you got to walk or ski or dog sled in there, but you know, that, that produces some pretty good fish. Yeah, Ely is a really, really neat area. It was fun growing up here, huh? It was. We were in the woods quite a bit of the time. We did a lot of exploring, a lot of fishing, a lot of hunting. It was a good time. And if folks want to know more about the fishing opportunities, I suppose just call or, or email? Yeah, probably check with the chamber would be probably the best idea. The, the Chamber of Commerce. And there's guides up here and stuff? There's guides all over the place. They'll, they'll be listed on there. Maddie B, Matty B, Robin's got flags one are going popping, here, buddy. Flags are popping. I can't keep up with you guys. Oh, yeah. I mean, this is one after another. Oh, look at that. Bring him up here for Robin to... How are you doing, buddy? I'm doing well. And you, John? I'm doing great. Yeah, and and yeah. Robin, of course, is works with Matt. You yep. guys run Acme Tackle and uh, uh, appreciate everything you've done for us over yeah, the years. Well, we certainly uh, enjoy working with you, and uh, you've done a lot for us over the years as well. So. Wait, uh, well, all of a sudden, this is tip up heaven. Boom, boom, boom. Yep, middle of the day, sun's out. Yeah, they, they, that nice. one you can put them back. That really nice job there, Robin. But no, this is interesting, folks. And uh, first hour or two, we did have anything going and all of a sudden everything's going man. yeah like 11 30 to 12 they just started popping which is awesome so hopefully we get that good window and then we get back on the panfish later on so you don't have to get up early to fish pike huh no you don't <laughs> hooked up john i'm coming <laughs> Ooh, this one feels nice at least the tip-ups have slowed down for a few minutes yeah, just, here just finally started jigging again okay. about four, oh, nice. there, look at how pretty that oh, bluegill man, is amazing, now it is it's such an interesting day you know as we mentioned earlier, I was so concerned about this cold front. Got out here, panfish were biting like crazy, no tip-ups. All of a sudden, the tip-ups go like crazy, yep. and the panfish slows down. Right, and what I noticed, middle of the day, I really had to get this fish to chase. Yeah. And three feet, once I got him to commit and probably caught him five feet off the bottom. Isn't that a so. pretty fish? Now, that's about what? Yeah, that's an eight-incher. That's an eight. That's a nice fish on the slider. Look at this thing. It's got to be a pike. Oh. I got three-pound test. It just smoked a little tungsten spoon. I mean... Just All right, I want to see you land it. Hey, little single hook on that micro. Oh, yeah. And uh, three pound test. Look at this. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's fun, though, buddy. Oh, 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 You're going to oh, get it. Oh, 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 oh. Come here. Come on. Got there you him. go. Look at that. Three pound test. Look at that. Perfectly hooked on the lip. Hey, not bad, buddy. Now, see how thin that one is compared to the smaller one that we yep. caught with the big build? And uh, that's one thing you, you should notice, though, folks. When you get the big build, make sure you release those yeah, pike because yeah, they're going to grow up big. Definitely. Nice job on that hey. two-pound test. Thank you. Breaking news from Fleet Farm. Check out this deal. Save $40 on the Vexlar Gens Pack Fish Locator with Ice Deucer on sale for $249.99. Hey folks, here's some exciting news. You can win a brand new Jiffy Torch. To enter is simple. Go to facebook.com slash Gillespie Fishing and look for this post. 
Bob! Play. Tip up! All right, guys! Yeah. Didn't you guys, hey, it's day two. Did you guys just put that in? Yeah, we just set it down. This We only put three t uh, beaver dams out so far, and this thing popped. All right. And we went with bigger minnows today. Anything cool. there? Yeah, I'm feeling a little... Oh, 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 nice nice, nice hook shot through. there, Josho. This is a big minnow. Okay, buddy. Yeah, All right. There's, there's, there's the marker. Oh, there he is. Ooh, look oh. at the size of this thing. Oh, 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 look yeah. at that oh, fish. Yeah. All right. Oh, my gosh. Yes. That's a well, nice one. Well, hey, got to tell the folks when we woke up this morning, we had nine degrees. So that's a lot better than yesterday. Oh, that's for And sure. maybe these fish will go. I mean, that's right away. Right away. I mean, two, it was down two minutes. Hey, 18 degrees warmer today. Yeah. Guys, we're going to catch some fish. Yeah, we are. Look at that beautiful like pike. I like wow. All right. I'm just sitting up right behind you here. It's a beaut. We got a big pike, by the way. Let's Ooh. see. Oh, here he come. Oh, nice crappie. Look at that one, guys. Now, that's uh, this is interesting, you know. Uh, we were talking before how much warmer it is today. <laughs> a lot warmer. Maybe these fish are going to bite, you know. Yeah, I hope so. I hope so. That's a beaut right there. That's a gorgeous crappie anywhere yeah. you go. And, you know, we caught a lot of small ones yesterday. That could have been the cold front. Yeah, could be, could be. Today they're snapping a little bit. Did he hit pretty hard? Yeah, he did. He crushed. Hold him out one more time. Nice fish. Folks, it's time now to announce this week's winners of the Fleet Farm John Gillespie's Waters and Woods 2021 Fishing Contest. Jared Nyes of Chicago broke an Illinois state record with this 72-pound big head carp caught on the Humble Park Lagoon on a crankbait. Randy Liu of Mount Pleasant, Wisconsin, caught this 44-inch northern on the Flambeau Lake, and he was using a creature. Ethan Schreiner of Marshfield caught this 46-inch flathead on the Wisconsin River. He was using a bullhead. Christina Kolodzutski of Indianapolis caught this 45 Five inch northern on Lake of the Woods on a bucktail. And this week's kids winners are Hunter Kozilek of Hubertus. He caught a 12 inch bluegill on Long Lake on a Meps. And Nathan Hess of Tinley Park, Illinois caught this 24 inch bass on Edgewater on a minnow. Each week I shop online at fleetfarm.com to check out the latest deals. This week save $25 on the Angle Live Bait Cooler with Pump on sale for $59.99 and save $100 on the Clam Kenai Pro Thermal Ice Fishing Shelter on sale for $349.99. Tip up! Tip up! Tip up! All right, Tip Manny up. B! Go. I'll, I'll tell you what, I like my Yamaha this year. I don't I don't have to walk anywhere, you know? Yeah. Anything, was it moving at all? Oh yeah, it was spinning really good when I ran up. Okay, let's see what we got here. Good tip up action so far, guys. Anything there? Oh, yeah. Oh, there yeah. you go, buddy. Ooh, that felt nice. All right, Manny B. Oh yeah, there you go. That's a nice pipe. Oh yeah, oh yeah. There you go. Okay. <sighs> Yeah, nice. look at how thick look that how is, Matty B. Is. How do you explain this, buddy? You Man, know, it's, just, it's just this warm up that's made these fish bite. Yeah, there's no doubt. I mean, 20 degree temperature swing. Um, yeah. yeah, and Robin already got a nice crappie that you didn't see too. So. Yeah, it's happening fast. So yeah, this is good. He's got it. He's got it. I, you know, I was just gonna rebate, and you yeah. just jumped in over here, buddy. All right, thanks for sharing. Oh, your own. look at that. There, folks, that is a real nice fish right there. Look at that. Now, that's pushing eight, right? Yes, yes, definitely, definitely. Isn't it nice to not have gloves on today? I oh. mean, it's nine degrees out, but it feels like 50. <laughs> Especially after Oh, they got a flag below. out there, Mark. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at that thing spinning there, Mark. Look at that thing spinning there, buddy. All right. I'm trying to, ooh, ooh good job there, pal. I'm uh, driving around trying to find panfish. Ooh, there you go. Look at that. Nice. Look at the size of that. Look at that. They're eating, John. They're eating. Yeah, they are. Hey, man, I wanted to ask you, buddy, are there a lot of lakes up here in Ely with pike? So every lake's got pike up here. Really? Oh, yeah. And there's a lot of nice pike up here. The average size, the thickness, because there's all these lakes got so much bait. In them. You having fun? Yeah, today's been phenomenal so far. Yeah. <laughs> Matty B, Matty B, come here, buddy. Come here. Ooh, look at this feels pretty good. Here he is. Whoa, there's a oh, there, oh, now there's oh, what we're looking for. That's a crappie. And, and you know, we want to mention too, you know, Matt went to college up here in Ely, and you guys used to come back into these lakes. You'd walk how far? 
Oh, a mile. A mile to get back yeah, in? Yeah, some lakes half mile, quarter mile, oh yeah. Kind of nice to have snowmobiles and ATVs now, isn't it? Real spoiled now, the Quality fish though, right? Yeah, it's beautiful. Look how thick that crappy is. What do you got? got? A, what got do you a got? nice one, John. I was just about to pull it. We're, we're, yeah, we're in. picking stuff up here. We're and, picking and stuff up. up. right in front of me. That's cool. Oh man, he's fighting hard. What this are you guys doing? Hurry up, fight. Matt. Get in here, Matt. Yeah, he's fighting hard, but he took two he runs is. on you. He did. Okay, there's oh, our marker. He's getting pissed. Oh, oh yeah. nice look one. at this. <laughs> yeah, there buddy. There we go. Woo. Come on in here. What a way to end a great day of fishing. Nice That's fish, tank, Josh. Man. That is a tank. We had a great trip, didn't we, buddy? Awesome day and a half. Yeah, you can un undo that one and let him go, but I want to talk to you real quick, buddy. Yeah. Uh, folks who want to come up to Ely, a stay in Ely is where we always stay. What a great place. Yeah, John, it's a bed and breakfast, five awesome bedrooms, five baths, full kitchen, fireplace, the whole nine. Yeah, you're coming up, folks. A stay in Ely is great for a group or people that are just coming up snowmobiling, snowmobiling hiking, ice fishing, hiking, anything. Yep. And if you want to come up and fish, folks, this is that. what Ely's all about. Yep. Hold them up one more time if you can there, Josh. He's battling you. He's battling you. <laughs> what a great trip. And you'd like to stay in Ely, didn't you? Oh, it's amazing. I love it up here. On that two inch hyper hammer, look at that. This bait has three super unique features. The built-in glass rattle, it's a play off the of Google Eye Jig series that's been phenomenal for open water walleyes, incorporating it now in a jigging minnow for ice fishing and open water. The brass slider, which is the hammer in the middle that slides back and forth, so you have a glass rattle and a hammer pin going back and forth, making two different types of unique noises. And then the third feature, which is the most unique, is a soft tail that rotates up and down to give it two different types of actions. And again, you can change out that tail to a whole bunch of different colors. The top features for the fishermen are the large casting decks that we have on board the boat. We also have the highest end electronics available to the fishermen that he would really appreciate, as well as the air ride seating, things like that, that really make your day on the water comfortable. Tons of room for your graphs, large live wells, bait tanks, everything is easily accessible. It's got a beautiful tow bar on the back, so if you want to go tubing or water skiing, the boat's got it all for you. So John, you haven't heard of Brian's custom steps? Oh, Pete, those are awesome. How can I get a set? Yeah, I love these big no-slip platforms and they're made right here in Wisconsin. For more information on Brian's custom steps, call 920-315-0333. And folks, that is our show for today. Please join us next week. I don't know where we're going to fish yet. We will find a place somewhere. Until then, I'm John Gillespie, hoping to see you enjoying John Gillespie's Waters and Woods.